New at five, day one of the second trial of Mark Jensen. In 2008, that Pleasant Prairie man was convicted of the 1998 poisoning death of his wife. The state Supreme Court threw out his conviction over a key piece of evidence. Bruce Harrison takes us inside the do-over. Feared that her husband might try to kill her. In opening statements, the state spent nearly 90 minutes painting a picture of a man who never got over his wife's affair, spent years harassing her, and then finally killed her. Their relationship in 1998 that fall was just falling apart. And once again, as in 1990, 1991, Julie was contemplating divorce. The defense says Julie Jensen was mentally ill and not the simple housewife and mother prosecutors are portraying. And the evidence will show that. The evidence will also show that Julie Jensen was at high risk for suicide. Mark Jensen was convicted of first degree intentional homicide in 2008. The state said he poisoned his wife with antifreeze. But now he's back on trial after the state Supreme Court vacated his conviction. The Supreme Court said certain evidence violated his constitutional rights. Said, I'm sorry she didn't make it. And I'm like, what? And he goes, yeah, I'm sorry she didn't make it. Wednesday also brought emotional testimony from friends and acquaintances of Julie Jensen, who say she would never take her own life. You know, Neighbor Ruth Vorwald recalled Mark Jensen was unemotional the night of Julie's death. The defense countered on cross. You weren't in the home immediately after Mr. Jensen found Ms. Jensen, no. The parties have mountains of records and evidence to review from a case that spans decades. The court has said the trial may last a month or even longer. Reporting for TMJ4 News, I'm Bruce Harrison.